welcome to another edition of Spiz. Now this is a late evening Spiz because I'm out on my own on the back roads of Maniki. Just heading out from Dundee tonight, I've just finished work so off we go. It's quite a nice night but I'm looking for uh, an old viaduct that I used to go abseiling. Yes believe it or not, I used to go abseiling yes, in my fit and healthy days. And I'm going to see if it's still there. I remember being quite a tall uh, viaduct lost in the, uh, the woods somewhere up this way. So, here we go. Woo! Listen to Eddie and the Hot Rods. Now this is the famous uh, mile into Maniki where they do burnouts on motorbikes. Yeah, they go racing along here. It's a great piece of road. They just go, go for it on their uh, Triumphs and their Yamahas and their Suzukis and their whatever. Uh, there's been plenty of accidents up here. Lots of tyre marks on this road, but it's a marvellous, marvellous mile of road. Take a walk. Now, after coming down the road there, I've just parked up at Maniki uh, Community Hall. You come down the road for about five minutes, and then you come to this little path here. And down you go. And that's where I'm going. Well, here I am on top of the viaduct. Now, this must have run from between, like, uh, Maniki, so I'll be going up towards probably just the east coast sort of line, I'd imagine. Um, yeah, I must have come running down here. There is another bit to this in Panmure Estate, I believe. Uh, as you can see, I'm not far from the road at all. As you can hear, the cars are whizzing by. The only trouble is I've got to get down there onto the river, and it is quite steep. And I seem to remember there was a rope, because we used to abseil down here. Now, let me just show you. Oops. Oh, there's a black rope down there, so that's where I'm heading. Here we go. Right, so I'm down the bottom of the viaduct now. Oh, it's quite an impressive structure, actually. Yeah, I'll give you a quick look at it. Hang on. Right, so that bit up there is the top of the viaduct, and I just came down there. Now then, we used to tie our rope to a tree up there, I think it was one of those two, and we used to just abseil all the way down to the bottom. And there is a, a hole which I'm going to investigate. Oh yes. Well, this is the hole that I came to investigate. Not much to see really, just goes to the other end. But once again I'll give you a quick... Oh, what's that? Oh, there was something up there. Oh, it's like a fish or something up there. Crikey, this went sploosh. Anyway. So, oh that's sunk right into the water. Ah. Okay, so that was the, uh, the viaduct at Maniki, another godforsaken place. Honestly, I come to some right old dumps, I tell you. The river goes all the way down there. So, it's got to be just a 2 out of 10 on the spizometer for this one though, because uh, it's fairly damp and manky and it's quite hard to get down to, but good find anyway. Whoa, there goes another car. 
So, thank you very much for watching. Oh, look how high up I am. Oh, it's only about what, 50 feet. Ah, oh, God, another uphill slog. <laughs> Hell's teeth, man. And up there, in the distance, is Pan Muir Field Monument. That was built to the Pan Muir by the local farmers and residents, and thanks for him not putting the taxes up when they had a particularly bad potato crop one year. Need to go up there one day. And in the distance there, you can see Pan Pure Mealed Fountain. Oh, the first part I'll probably see. Oh, shite, start again.